Welcome to a brand new sneaker collection video. Today I have a pretty unique collection to share with you guys. It's my Converse sneaker collection. Now, I know a lot of sneaker heads, especially in the realm of retro Jordans and Yeezys and Ultra Boost, not too many people collect Converse. Boy, oh boy, do I have some heat to share with you guys. So I've been collecting Converse ever since 2015, 2016. Many, many collaborations have been added to this collection. So you will most definitely see some sneakers you've never seen before in your entire life. Life. With that said, this week we're going to be uploading a few shopping guide videos including my top 10 Converse I recommend you guys check out along with Puma and one of the best sneakers sitting at the mall right now in March. And I also am uploading on my second channel, Sneaker Talk 365. We uploaded my first video back on that channel so check it out, the Pine Green Review for 2020. So we're going to do this in order of like silhouette. So we have like the Chuck Taylor 2, the 1970s, the One Stars and a bunch of miscellaneous sneakers which I'm just really excited to share with you guys. So. Let's start off with the classic Converse Chuck Taylor 2. Modern classic. This was the sneaker that uh, really started my love for Converse, the Chuck Taylor 2. This is the all white colorway, and uh, I plan to actually do a giveaway for these or customize them. So subscribe to both my channels and stay tuned for that announcement. The main heat that Converse often got in the past for their sneakers is they're not the greatest, most comfortable sneakers in the world. But the Converse Chuck Taylor 2 is when they introduced the Lunar Lawn sole into the Chuck 2 model and a couple of other Chuck Taylor models. And uh, this is the tech that was seen in many Nike running shoes. And they're able to do this because Nike, of course, did buy Converse. This led to a very comfortable Converse, and it also led to me falling in love with the brand. Next up, we have a pair of Converse Chuck Taylor 2s in a cream colorway. And I actually plan to be doing a customization on this shoe very soon. Soon, and I'll be giving away that custom sneaker as well. So if you like Combe Garçon, you'll most definitely like the custom I do with these. But this is the cream colorway of the Chuck 2. Next up is the uh, the very first sneaker that Converse sent me. It is the Chuck Taylor 2 from the Marble Pack. They did two different colorways, and this is the white one with the black marble print. And uh, I actually customized these to have a black CDG heart right here on the side. And uh, I actually did a video teaching you guys how to do that, so I'll leave that uh, in the Card up top right now or in the description down below. This patch was like a couple of dollars on eBay. It's an iron-on patch and you can hype up any pair of Chuck Taylors or you know any shoe in general but I think it looks really good on the Chuck Taylor. Now on to the real deal. These are the Converse Comme des Garçons Play Chuck Taylors right here and uh, this is the olive pair with the horizontal line of CDG Play hearts. I actually bought these in Japan and the last pair wasn't my size. Don't you just love when that happens? So has that ever happened to you guys? Let me know at the poll in the top right hand corner. Have you gone to the store and the last pair of shoes that you wanted are in your size? That's when it's like, yo, it's fate. It's fate. So let me know if that's happened to you in the comments down below too, what shoe it was. For me, it was these Chucks and uh, I bought these in Japan about eight months early before the international release. So I felt pretty special wearing these on feet. On to my last pair of Chuck Taylor 2s from the collection. These are the uh, car leather pack. This is the brown one right here. It's inspired, of course, by luxury cars, the inside, their interior, the seats. So yeah, this is the car leather Chuck Taylor 2. This black pair of Chuck 2s with the uh, the contrast white stitching is actually a fragment collaboration. If you guys look real closely, Converse Fragment All Star. So this is the Fragment Converse Chuck Taylor. It's what you would expect from a brand like Fragment. And they also released this alongside a t-shirt and a sweatshirt. And lastly, this is the final Chuck Taylor 2, I swear. This is the Futura collaboration. He's a street artist. I think he specializes in like a lot of graffiti art. And this was a very, very uh, underrated release in my opinion. The material is sort of like this rubber material and it's just very crazy, very loud. These came with extra patches too which you could take off and uh, switch around. They have different designs on the patches. This one's sort of this like nebula graffiti print that they have. Now we can get on to the Chuck Taylor 70s. We'll start with the basics. We have the all black Chuck Taylor 1970 with this really nice premium leather. Nothing too crazy. Very simple, very minimal. This is going to just bring your outfits together. Next up is a release that has half this like suede material on the inner side and it has this really dope leather on the outside. This nice creamy 
white leather on the outside here. You flip it around and you have the uh, suede material on the inside and it has silver eyelets right here for the laces. Very, very dope. And you also have a leather patch as well to, uh, to complement the leather on the opposite side. Next up, we have one of my favorite 1970s just because of the colorway. It is this burgundy maroon Chuck Taylor 1970. It really has that old school look and that's one thing I really love when it comes to Chucks. I love the, uh, the Converse patch on the inside there. Definitely like a, an essential sneaker, I wanna say, when it comes to your wardrobe. You're not gonna you know break any necks, but you will be making some pretty clean outfits with this sneaker. The next 1970s are a pair of uh, collaborations and one of my only low top Converse. I'm not really a fan of low top Converse. I sort of think they look like clown shoes sometimes, especially if you get them in too big of a size. But these right here are the Carhartt Tiger Camo Chuck Taylor 1970 Low. Really, really dope Tiger Camo on the side of the sneaker. We got some Carhartt branding on the tongue of the shoe as well. And uh, yeah, I really just wear these in the summer because that is like the best time to wear low top Chucks. So yeah, Carhartt Tiger Camo. These are probably my most worn pair of Chuck 2s because they're also a pair of winter boots. Now, you know, Canada, the winter, it sucks. Whenever the snow is out, the slush is out, you have to worry about your shoes getting salt stains and getting all ruined and stuff, but Converse made a Chuck Taylor 2 boot. It's a sneaker boot. Like, take a look at these right here. Gray with this sort of like nubuck suede kind of material, similar to what you would see on Timberlands. And then you have the tongue right here that sticks out nice and high to block out the snow from intercept intercepting, from attacking your ankles. And then you also have an extra booty right here that has the same material that is on like the scuba diving material. So it's gonna be really, really uh, waterproof and resistant to that cold, cold snow. And I will be doing my top five or top 10 boots and sneakers for the winter video very soon and you can count on these being in that video. This next section of Converse sneakers might be the best because they're some of the, uh, I think some of the best looking releases and most hyped. So we'll start off with this Jack Purcell sneaker. This was actually a gift from my buddy Ian at Lace It Up To on Instagram and it has this cool little floral print on the side of the shoe. And I think these use like Nike Zoom Air technology on the inside so it's not a Lunar Lawn. These are my only pair of all white Chuck Taylors. This is the Converse Lux Modern. These go for that very premium, premium vibe. The leather quality is really nice on these. I did a review on these on YouTube as well, so I'll leave that link down below or the card on screen right now. And it also has a Lunar Lawn sole on the inside, so it's super, super, super comfortable. This next pair of Chucks are very, very cool. Definite, strong tech wear vibes. These are the Gore-Tex Converse Chuck Taylors. These are funky. So this is the green and black colorway, and this is also ready for the winter. Like, it's fully wet weatherized, winterproof, no snow or anything is gonna get into your foot right here. And Gore-Tex is a very, very durable and waterproof material. Next, we got the Converse Fast Break Low and Jordan collaboration. The insole of these sneakers actually have the uh, Air Jordan logo because I did these sneakers in a pack with an Air Jordan 2. Here's the Air Jordan insole on these Converse. And uh, this is the UNC blue colorway, of course, going back to Jordan's college days. These next Converse are a pair you've probably never seen before if you're a new into the sneaker game. These are the Converse Pro leathers right here. And there's actually no leather on the shoe at all. It's this all canvas material. But this is the collaboration with the CDG Play. You guys have seen those collabs all the time on the Chuck Taylor 1970s or the Chuck Taylors. This is on the Pro leather model. They made these also with a white colorway with black hearts. And I've shown you guys these on my Instagram before. Underrated. You can't find these anywhere. I'm so confident that you've never seen anyone wear these sneakers before that I want you guys to hit the poll right now in the top right down corner of the screen letting me know have you seen anyone else wear these sneakers besides me or have shown them to you before besides me yes or no next up we have a pair of converse one stars these are the only one stars left in my collection these are the undefeated collaboration right here this is the uh, hairy green suede upper with that creamy midsole the red and blue lines we have leather on the lining right here and the suede is really nice as well next up are a pair of custom converse chuck taylor 1970s that i actually got to design in person. Converse flew me out to New York City for a very, very cool event. I'll leave that video, that vlog link down below. One of my earlier vlogs, probably under 100. I got to meet Yu Ming. I think he was the founder of sneakernews.com and I also think that one of the founders of SneakerCon. And uh, so yeah, at this event, they brought us up to like this penthouse, like condo, not 
condo, but like this really high high rise in New York City. They balled us out with a lot of food and uh, I got to make really cool custom Converse with my own selection of materials. So on the one side, we actually on the inner side right here, you have this black satin material. It's all black and then we have leather hits on the Converse logo. Golden eyelets right here. Flip the shoe around, we have this sort of burgundy uh, shiny kind of material. I'm not sure what it is, but depending on the lighting, the lighting hits it and it also makes it look black in some areas. So yeah, very, very cool material, one of one. And then you have the uh, the black tongue going down the shoe with that black satin material again, Converse logo in leather on top. Here's a look at the, uh, the, the license plate on the back of the shoe. I actually have not worn these once, these custom Converse right here. I really should though, these are really cool. These right here are the Converse One Star IBN Jasper collaboration. And these are these are very very cool very unique very premium smooth leather on the upper We have hits of suede on the side the converse branding on the side They're also embedded into the leather the back is this really cool like furry velour material And then the lacing is also not your typical lacing system It has a zipper going down the middle which is you know not something you see very very often And then you also have a little uh, I forget what the name is for this But the little thing on the laces and then the lacing system is just really crazy here so I I still have to wear these. I'll probably lace them up properly because I don't like the zipper showing, but these are crazy. These are the Converse One Star IBN Jasper collaboration. These next pair of chucks are a very uh, wild one. These are two chucks in one. So this is the Converse Chuck Taylor, I believe 1970 Perks and Mini collaboration. As you guys can see right here, this is the first look for the shoe. It has this blue sort of like puffer jacket uh, kind of vibe material and this really weird texture to it on the side. You can actually unzip the shoe to reveal a whole different look if you take that off, it reveals this version of the sneaker, which is like a full canvas material, which has like a slip-on kind of vibe right here. And it has, uh, it says mutation, P-A-M, mutation. This is something we've never really seen on most sneakers. Like this is not a, a very common kind of kind of uh, look or aesthetic or vibe, you know? This is two sneakers in one. I think we'll see more and more sneakers like this in the future. I think I recently saw an Air Jordan 1, which you can customize from a high top to a low top. Maybe they took that idea from this. I wouldn't be surprised. We have two more pairs of Chucks left. The next pair is the uh, Dr. Wu Chuck Taylor 1970. I believe Dr. Wu is a tattoo artist and also like an artist in general. And uh, this right here is the white colorway from the Dr. Wu Converse collection. Oh no, holes, tears. What? My shoes are destroyed, you know? No, that's not the case. There's actually a hidden layer underneath the sneaker. So if this white part is completely ripped off, you tear it off, you'll have a green pair of chucks underneath with some cool designs going on in it. And it really reminds you of like the Incredible Hulk, you know, when before he transforms into the, the massive green machine that he is, he rips off his shirt and then, you know, you have the green Hulk underneath. Googly eye action on the toe box. Very funky pair of sneakers. Now on to the final pair of chucks in my collection, bam, the Converse Chuck Taylor off whites. This is the 1970 model. Again, one of my favorite Chuck Taylor models. This, along with many of the other sneakers that I showed you guys, were gifts from Converse. So a huge thank you to my family over at Converse. I know the people I was really close with at Converse are no longer there. This is also possibly one of the, the most valuable sneakers in my collection. These are worth about 3,000 Canadian dollars, brand new. I don't really wear these too much because they're kind of uncomfortable for long, long like usage. But I do have a recent photo of me wearing these over on my Instagram, so I'll have that pop up on screen right now. One of the rarest off-white sneakers of all time. These were not released in Japan either. And so if you go to Japan, the resale for these is like $4,000 Canadian, brand new. Thank you again, Converse, for sending these over. These are one of my most prized possessions in my sneaker collection. The Converse Chuck Taylor 1970s Off-White. Here's a look at the text on the, uh, the inside panel of the sneaker. And yeah, these are just, these are so, so freaking cool. Thank you again, Converse, for sending these over. And that is my Converse collection. If you guys made it to the end of the video, please comment down below your two favorite sneakers from my Converse sneaker collection. And if you have any of these sneakers in your own collection, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comment section down below. If you are new, of course, think about subscribing to the channel. Hit that red button down below or feel free to binge watch my Japan vlogs or any of my other videos. I'll catch you guys over on my other channel, Sneaker Talk 365 for another sneaker review or again on this channel in another video. Peace out.